I was back to my old stomping grounds this week. This is my week in real estate. I'm Voltaire Leppett, top 1% agent in all of San Diego County. And I'll tell you more about that in a bit. First, let me tell you about my weekend. My weekend was work until noon on Saturday and Sunday church. And then I went to my property in Alpine. And then I took a big, long nap. Now, some other things that happened over the weekend was I didn't keep a lot of promises to myself. And it's not like the work-related ones for my clients. It's like the personal promises to myself. I was supposed to do a lot more things for personal growth over the weekend and this week. And I just didn't get it done, um, which always sucks. So in life, I just have to remind myself that promises to myself are sometimes more important than promises to others. And then my week started. I got hired by several sellers, several home buyers, so it was cool. Um, started off the week right, just worked really hard. And I also helped a bunch of realtors. Uh, I trained realtors this week twice uh, for two one hour sessions. And that's important to me because uh, I wanna give to the community, I wanna help them grow, I wanna help them with their business, especially in challenging times just like right now. So. I'm happy to say that I helped a bunch of realtors this week and I met with a bunch of millionaires. You know, one thing about these millionaires, we meet once a month. They own a lot of property in San Diego. They're making a lot of moves and there's only a handful of us. There's might be like eight of us in that group, but they're all open minded. They're all open to education and they all have a fantastic work ethic. And when I say they're open to education, they're always learning. We had somebody come in today, uh, this week. They taught us about their business, what they're doing in their business. And I'm not going to lie. It was like very boring. It wasn't like nothing like, oh my God, you know, but everybody was engaged. We're all taking notes. And that's one thing about uh, those people that separate, uh, that separate them from everyone else is they're always learning. They're always looking to grow. So that was pretty cool to see. And it was my uncle's birthday this week. Happy birthday. And this is my uncle, my big brother who raised me. And I'll tell you my favorite story about him or one of many. Um, his first real estate sale, I was in his bedroom uh, when I was like seven or eight years old, just cleaning up. He came in and then he reached in his pocket and he was wearing a suit and tie. So that's what you wear back then if you want to sell some real estate. And he had a big chunk of money. He put on the dresser and I went over there, started combing through the money. I said, where did you get this money from? He says, I sold my first home. And I remember that and he was excited and I was happy and I was just like, you know, fumbling through money. And then we went and ate at the first restaurant I ever read at right across the street. It was a beautiful day. Happy birthday. And I met with a, a professional this week. I met with a trust attorney. Um, he's telling me about his business. 37 years in the business, which is pretty incredible. And it's even more incredible that he showed up to a 6 p.m. meeting, suit and tie, dressed like an attorney. Uh, it was really cool to see. Uh, big props to him. And I was back at my old stomping grounds, San Diego High School. So this week, uh, it was senior exhibitions for the Cam Academy of Finance and Entrepreneurship, which I go every year. The kids present and they have to pass in order to uh, pass the Academy of Finance that some of them were there for four years. Uh, so it was, it was awesome. It, I had a good time. The kids that were there um, did a fantastic job. And I have an intern, and I didn't even know this, who's working for the last two years, averaging 31 hours a week at a regular job, still going to school, still inter interning for me, because I have about 10 to 12 interns on an annual basis that come. And I, that was pretty impressive. 31 hours averaging. Some of y'all don't even work 31 hours in a week. You got to get to it. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Did that last night. And this weekend, it's my weekend off. I'm going to go play at a basketball tournament, hoops in Rosarito. That's going to be awesome. And while I'm down there, of course, I'm going to eat some of the delicious food that they have to offer. I hope that you guys enjoy your weekend. As always, if you want to buy or sell home, please call me. We'll talk later. Peace.